So I haven't done one of these videos in a while. And in this video, I am sharing the Chanel 24K collection and I'm sharing some bags that are coming out. So let's jump right into the video. So I'm getting my information from Purse Blog, or Purse Bop, really it's the same company, you know. Of course, they have the classic flip coming out as it always does, and it's coming in the medium size as well as the small, and there's more bags with lambskin rather than like other, like caviar. They have a diverse color palette, so they have burgundy, obviously it's the color of the season, gold hardware, and they're also releasing light pink, gray, coral, olive green, love, light blue, yellow, bright pink, and dark brown. Honestly, I'm just, I know this is a classic bag from the brand. I am just a bit bored with it. I mean, how many classic flaps can you possibly? I mean, I know people don't own a lot, but I don't know. I'm ready to kind of see something different, but at the same time, I kind of don't care either because the prices are way outside of my price range. So I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the colors, okay? The red, is this their burgundy? I would expect it to be a little darker. The blue looks pretty, but it's nothing different from what I've seen before. They have released an olive green. This one kind of looks like it leans kind of golden. It's not like a true olive khaki color. I don't know. That's like a coral shade, goldenrod, mustard color. Very, very nice for fall. Dark brown, navy, and gray, light pink. I mean, I'm bored. <laughs> this is my first time like going over this and looking at everything. So I hope I'm not bored for the entire video. But right now, I'm just bored. Next, wool tweed iterations. And this is the same classic flap. Okay, so wool. Slightly different, but not really. They've released this before, but I'm used to seeing like tweed, like mixed with different colors. Like, I don't know, like the Oreo Chanel 19 that everybody was obsessed over a few years ago. And these are solids. So if you're into more like solids, definitely take a look at these. So as far as the tweed, they have several different options to choose from. They also have a deep dark brown, which I'm loving brown lately. I mean, I don't know what it is about brown. Y'all know I typically gravitate towards colors, but I'm loving brown for this season. So they also have orange tweed which is kind of like mixed with like a purple i think that's beautiful i love those two colors together i always have so this one is like pink gray and yellow mix of those three colors a little more feminine i love the previous that orange i love that color with the purple i can't stop talking about it and my nails are naked i'm letting them take a rest before i put more on and they also have a suit in that same color scheme if you're into their tweed clothes i don't know if i'll wear them together i feel like that's a bit much but that's just my opinion they also have a light pink tweed classic flap and they also have other flat bags so if you're tired the classic flap they have other options so this is plain green shiny calfskin leather and there's a smaller flap doesn't have any quilting or anything like that so it's solid it's a nice change i'll say that so this one is going to release in mini and small size and it comes in burgundy black and light blue this light blue is a little too light for me it's not really doing much for me to be honest with you if i were to go with one of these i would definitely do the burgundy i feel like it offers the most it's a gorgeous burgundy shade and the gold hardware looks great with it and it's definitely more modern than the traditional quilted flap now also they are releasing a new flap bag with chain and this one, this is a small flap and it comes in black, light beige, and light pink. All of them are going to have the gold tone hardware. So for this one, actually, I think the beige is the nicest. The pink one's pretty nice too. And those do have the quilting. One thing I didn't notice, if you look closely at the strap, there's an interlocking CC in between the chain and leather. I think that's a nice touch. I think that's really cute and it's different. Now, also, if you're into shearling, honestly, the idea of shearling and Chanel freaks me the F out because Chanel is already expensive and shearling is so delicate. If I mess this bag up, I would literally cry. I would go cry somewhere like for the rest of my life because of how much money I wasted. And shearling, I don't know. I just wouldn't get it. I'm too afraid. I haven't bought a shearling bag yet. And there's a reason. Brown would be nice too. Brown shielding is beautiful. And also I'm sure less maintenance because stains or marks won't be as noticeable on a darker color. So also they are releasing that same flap with the top handle. Y'all know I'm a top handle girly. I love top handles. I don't know. It's just something about this flap. I like a lot more than a traditional classic flap. Maybe it's the structure paying attention to what she's listening to. You always got to do that with your children. It's good. <laughs> There's just certain things I don't love her watch. This bag, I love the stitching, like the structure on the outside of the bag. I think that's really nice. The gold hardware, the top handle. I really like this flap. It's not telling me any prices. If I were to go with a flap, if you're brand new to Chanel, I know it's not classic. Who cares? You know, I really prefer this one over the other one. So this one is releasing in light pink, camel, navy, and black. 
and they all come in that shiny green calfskin. That's nice. Shiny green calfskin. I should know this. Is that caviar? Let me know in the comments if y'all know, but it looks similar to me. Anyway, the light pink is beautiful. The navy is freaking divine. Y'all know how I'm about navy. It's one of my favorite neutrals. I love navy. I used to hate it in school because it was a part of our school uniform. And even that camel color, I think they did this bag very well. I love all the colors in it. So thankfully, <laughs> this video isn't turning out negative and like bored like I was in the beginning. I'm really liking these. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm Candace of Glam Luxe Mama, your go-to for colorful, edgy, sporty, chic, fashion inspired but in all things luxury. If you like those, be sure to subscribe and also like the video. If you don't wanna miss my videos, I post Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays in shorts every single day. So next they have the Diamante flat bags and these are more, if you like something a little more pizzazz, you're more feminine. These have embellishments and imitation pearls as well. And y'all know this is way too much for me, but they come in the small size and it comes in a mini size. So those are the two size options. And there's an adjustable chain, that's different. Chanel typically doesn't do that. Well. Well, it's the double chain actually you pull it through okay never mind they do that all the time the small size is coming in the black with crystal and also so black and i guess that's like black crystals and then the mini size is coming in black and crystal so black in beige and gold so these are really pretty okay so the so black actually has a mixture of black and clear crystal it might even be clear it might be the lighting okay so it's talking about the hardware so it has black hardware on the so black. The crystals look like they're black and clear. They also have shearling flat bags coming out and these are coming in the mini and small size and that's what they look like. Mm, not really a fan, but I get it. A lot of people like them. Let's see if they have prices. Of course they don't. Those are cute though. Look very soft and cozy. Also the Chanel 20, oh my freaking goodness, the Chanel 22. So I know a lot of y'all probably thinking, y'all talking about me because I used to hate this bag. I used to think it was a gift with purchase bag and it looked cheap. This shearling Chanel 22, if I were to buy a shearling bag and I had the money, I would get this one. It's nice. It comes in a crew or light pink colored shearling lambskin and it's paired with gold hardware. I love both of these, the light pink and the crew. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Instant favorites for me. And if you don't want shearling, they also have the glossy green calfskin version coming out in black and camel. That camel kind of looks pinkish. It's not like a caramel camel a caramel, however you want to pronounce it. And they also have it in black, but honestly, I think the shearling, are the, that's the way to go. So they have a camera case coming out. There's a small one coming out in a small size and it's releasing in burgundy, black, and yellow. That's what that looks like. Oh, the yellow is nice. Ooh, that's definitely my favorite. So also they have a shopping bag coming out as well. And this is like an east to west version. So east to west has not died down yet. And there's a square coming in black and burgundy. So the east to west style is just coming in black, but they have a more square version coming in black and burgundy. The square version is probably the one I would go with, even though I tend to gravitate towards east to west. Oh, actually I like that one too. I like both of them. Maybe I prefer the east to west a little more actually. Also there's a box bag coming out, so cute. And they basically, revamped the briefcase style that they use to have. They might still have it, it might still be available if you can find it in stores. But this one has a top handle and it's coming in two sizes. It comes in small and a larger version. So if you want something more practical, they have a larger version. The small one is releasing in black, dark brown and light orange. And then the larger one is coming in burgundy and black. So with this, definitely the smaller one. Oh, they also have a plush quilted velvet evening bag. And that one's coming in east to west style. I'm not really a fan of either one of those, honestly. There's a Deville shearling version is like a mix of leather and shearling and it's coming in brown shearling lambskin. I'm not really a fan of the original Deville. I really don't like this one. And with this one also comes with the interior zippered pouch too. So that's nice that you get more, but I'm sure you're going to pay more too. It's Chanel. Min, min, I don't know how to pronounce this. Min Adu Di So this is like a little fun and whimsical piece coming in the collection. If you're into the unique Chanel pieces, they have this cute little popcorn called the pop cocoa. I don't know how to pronounce the M word, but it's like a cute little popcorn bag. I think that's adorable and definitely a collector's piece if you're into Chanel collector's pieces. And they have little imitation pearls on top to mimic popcorn. I think that's cute. It's really cute. They have clutches releasing as well and they have a variety of sizes and colors. Black, pale pink, white, shimmering gold, and they have straps. Oh, they have arm loops. I think the clutch looks a bit lazy. I think they could have done better with that design. I think it's quite boring, but that's just me. And they also have the large flap case. 
lace coming in two finishes, the black caviar and black patent. I'm not a fan of that one either. I think they just threw it together. Honestly, they could have done better with that as well. But if I had to choose, of course I would choose the yellow one, but it just looks like an envelope that they laminated and they put interlocking CCs on it. It doesn't look like anything special to me. That's just me once again. So let me know if you'll be scooping up anything from this collection, what your favorites were. Definitely, definitely the star of the show for me was the Shearling Chanel 22s. Both of them are just divine. Like you could go with either one and you wouldn't go wrong in my opinion. Not sure about the price points. If anybody has any information on that, let me know in the comments. Happy to take a look. I'll also be looking for prices as well. And in case you missed the last video, check it out here. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Talk soon.